And coast to coast protesters spoke out over the weekend for and against the Supreme Court's decision Friday to overturn Roe versus Wade. Now in the wake of the ruling reversing the 1973 decision that provided a constitutional right to abortion, states are now scrambling to clarify their laws. Naomi Rokham reports. From Los Angeles to Cleveland and Huntsville, Alabama. Americans took to the streets nationwide over the weekend following Friday's Supreme Court decision overturning Roe v. Wade after nearly half a century. I feel like I don't have a choice to my own body. Nobody wants to be stuck in a situation where they're stuck with a pregnancy. In South Carolina, emotions boiled over with protesters from both sides of the abortion debate fighting in the streets of Greenville. In Charlotte and around the U.S., abortion rights opponents celebrated the ruling. For the last 50 years, there's really been a lot of lives lost under a false ruling by the Supreme Court. At least 13 states have so-called trigger laws that locked new abortion restrictions into place after Roe versus Wade was overturned. Another 13 are likely to restrict access or enact bans soon. Women are not second-class citizens, and the government is not the one that will decide about the continuation of a pregnancy. You know, there's no equivalent there for men. What the Supreme Court said was that the Constitution does not give a woman the right to have an abortion. In apparent defiance of Justice Department guidance issued after the Supreme Court ruling, South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem vowed to bar mail-order abortion pills while saying women should not be punished for seeking them. Naomi Ruckham, CBS News.